Phone disconnected. Let's turn this motherfucker. We finna turn this shit up. What's up, Tiffany? How you doing, Tiffany? Yeah, yeah, I'll share this video. We finna turn this up. Hey, Trace Addis, how you doing? Y'all finna get ready to drop that business, Master Clad. I'm finna teach y'all how to drop ship and do everything, yeah. I'm finna teach y'all how to do everything automotive on your motherfucking phone where you ain't got to leave the comfort of your home and make you a bankroll. Yeah, we finna change the narrative, y'all. Cause I see our, our supposed leaders in Shreveport, the self-appointed black leaders, the self-appointed black activists. Yeah, we finna change all this shit. Yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna show you how we don't need none of them motherfuckers. Yeah, we gonna do it ourselves. Yeah, we going to do it ourselves. Yeah, we going to do it ourselves. What's up, Blake? Yeah, Shreveport, we going to do it ourselves. We don't need no activists. We don't need no goddamn me. Self-appointed black leaders, self-appointed activists. Yeah, we let them make all the noise. Yeah. We'll work with the city council ourselves. We'll let them, let them make all the motherfucking noise. Yeah, yeah, we don't need them. Y'all come on here, cause it's gonna be a lot of shit talking, a lot of hurt feelings. Yeah, I, I ain't saying nothing till I get some more people on here. Yeah, I'm, I'm finna be real messy. Yeah, I'm finna be real messy. Yeah, share this video. Yeah, share this motherfucking video. I'm finna be messy than a motherfucker. Now I need to tag my other page in there. How do I do that? Damn, I ain't, that's why I ain't tagged my other page on here. What's up, hey, Jakarta? Pine said. How you doing? I see you all the time. Yeah, I ain't gonna forget you. I see you all the time on here. I get, I'm gonna shout you out, dear, dear, dear. She always on. Then you give e excellent insight, too. Yeah, you ain't scared to speak your mind. Yeah, hey, man, listen. We don't need no more male black leaders. Yeah, we don't need no more. Yeah, they bickering and fuss too much. They having... A dick pissing contest. Yeah, they trying to see who dick the biggest. Yeah, we don't need no more. We need these females and these kids. Yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't, yeah, fuck these niggas. I'm focused on women and kids. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about these niggas no more. Yeah, I'm focusing on strictly women and kids. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about these niggas no more. Yeah, these niggas ain't shit. Yeah, these niggas trying to see who dick the biggest. Yeah, that's what these niggas trying to do having pissing contest see who could piss the father yeah i'm working with number of women and kids i don't want you niggas no more yeah yeah you niggas trying to see who dick the biggest <laughs> yeah yeah i ain't yeah i ain't now not no more yeah i'm yeah they, they, yeah yeah the mj didn't change his life yeah mj ain't no i'm just for women and kids that's all i'm pushing yeah i'm just for women and kids yeah these niggas these street niggas, these real niggas, yeah, this, this street nigga culture, this real nigga culture that made it so bad, black men can't even be black men. I can't be a regular black man. I can't be a regular black man no more. Ain't that a bitch? Ain't that a bitch? These street rules, these street rules, this real nigga culture that made it impossible for a black man just to be a black man. What's wrong with me just wanting to be a black man? That's all I want to do is just be a black man. I just want to live. I just want to take care of my family. I just want to be a business owner. But according to your street rules and your real nigga culture, I can't do none of that. I'm a square. I'm a pussy if I take care of my family. I'm a pussy. Uh, 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 I'm not a real nigga cause I look, I live in the suburbs. I'm a pussy or uh, my child or uh, my son gonna get bullied because they came from a two parent home. 
So they ain't qualified according to the black community. They ain't qualified to have input. They ain't qualified to have a say so. Cause they come from come on. This is the stuff we really got to talk about. I want to I want to understand. Somebody make me understand street logic. Somebody make me understand real nigga street nigga logic, please. I just want to know how, how that works. Any street niggas on here? Where the street niggas at? Where they at? Where the street niggas at? Where the street niggas on here that can give me street nigga logic? I Make me understand street nigga logic. I need some street niggas on here today. Street nigga, this y'all chance to make me understand street nigga logic. Make me understand real nigga logic. And how, make me understand how street nigga logic and how real nigga logic really works in real life. Please make me understand it. So I'm a real nigga if I kill another black man, right? I'm considered, I'm considered a real nigga if I, I kill another black man. According to street nigga logic, I am a real nigga if I kill another black man. Well, what the real niggas at the street niggas at? I need to understand what's going on. Make me understand y'all logic. Okay. Let's talk about it, street niggas. Y'all justified peanut, right? Y'all justified peanut, but y'all vilifying John Moran. John Moran ain't broke no law. Peanut did. And y'all just, I'm not talking shit. I'm just making a point. I'm making a point how y'all can't never agree on nothing. That's just common sense. Thank you, uh, Applying Pressure. Street nigga in logic is an oxymoron. Thank you. According to some of y'all activists, according to some of y'all activists, your family don't deserve justice. Because they don't want to send a black man to prison. Well, nigga, if you don't want to go to prison, don't break the law. I don't give a... I think all you nigga. I think every nigga should go to jail. Yeah, send them niggas to jail. Yeah, I recommend jail to you nigga. Yeah, you nigga need to go to jail. Because cause I deal in reality. If you break the law, I don't got no... If you don't break the law, I have no reason to send you to jail. If I break the law, I'm going to go to jail. These your activists. Y'all listen to me, y'all. Listen to me. If y'all ain't paid no, no attention, if y'all ain't paid no attention to nothing else since this Joseph Taylor shit happened, do y'all see all the lies black people going to tell and make up? We can't agree on something that we all see. We all as black people see. Certain things, but we make every excuse in the world. Y'all justified Peanut, but y'all vilified John ja Moran. Technically, John ja Moran ain't broke a law. Now, he broke the law of his NBA contract, his NBA agreement. But but uh, the, the street law, he didn't break a law, right? He didn't break a law, but... Peanut broke a law, got out with a gun and everything. Y'all justified him. But y'all vilified Ja Morant. Ja Morant wrong and stupid. Ja Morant wrong and stupid. Peanut got out the car with a gun. But he not stupid. Let's make it make sense, black people, so I can understand him. Why do y'all always justify street nigga logic? Why is it? What's, what is street nigga logic? Why y'all always justifying street niggas and real niggas? They get an excuse. Street niggas are the biggest problem in the black community. That street nigga culture, that real nigga culture is the biggest problem in the black community. I want all deaf to all street niggas. Deaf to all real niggas. I hope they lock all of y'all up for life. Y'all say don't snitch, right? Ain't, ain't, ain't that street rules, street logic, right? Hold up, hold up, watch this. 
street rules and street logic is don't snitch, right? See, that's what I'm saying. Are y'all gonna, is y'all gonna adhere to all y'all rules, street nigga? Street nigga logic is don't snitch, right? Who the biggest diamond on earth, KD? I'm confused. I'm the biggest dummies on earth, KD. What you mean? I'm the biggest dummy on earth. Hold up now. Hold up now. Yeah, hold up, KD. I might be a typo. You might left something out. Let me make me understand. Yeah, what you mean? I'm the biggest dummy on earth. Yeah, I need to know. Yeah, look, that was a typo. Sit back, yeah, before I go wipe and say. Okay, before I get understanding, oh, you talking about Morant? Yeah, I, I get. I'm not saying he's not stupid. According to NBA, to mess up his NBA contract, I totally agree. My point is, I'm making this: John ja Morant ain't committed no crime. John ja Morant ain't committed not one crime. John ja Morant ain't commit not one crime. They vilified him. Peanut got out with a gun. They just with the police and they justify him. What I'm making a point is how fucked up niggas think. Okay. Street rules is it's no snitching, right? That street rules, no snitching, right? But yet they want to tell the police to snitch on the police. But they want the police, but I thought we don't pull the snitch. Street rules. So we're going to go by street rules. Y'all should respect the police not telling on the bad police. And we're going to go about child logic now. We strictly going off street nigga and real nigga logic, right? Okay. Can one of you street niggas or real niggas come on here and prove to me how your street logic and your real nigga logic work in real life? I, I just want to know how your street logic and real nigga right logic works in real life. How is your street logic and your real nigga logic conducive to the betterment of black people? To me, it seems like the street nigga and the real nigga logic is was destroying the black community. Your street nigga logic, your street real nigga logic, your street nigga culture, your real nigga culture have made it impossible for a black man just to be a black man. Your street nigga logic and your real nigga logic has made it impossible for another black man to be a black man. Your woke culture have made it impossible for us black men. You know how much y'all street nigga, real nigga culture didn't made it worse for the black man? Y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all hate me because I speak, I speak factual truth. I live in reality, not the perception. Your perception don't make it reality. I deal in reality. I deal in reality strictly only. Black people are all over the place. With their views and everything. With their views and everything. Y'all won't come together, stick together or not. And y'all won't. Look at the people that got y'all following. Let me just show you this. See, this is not nothing I'm saying. Uh, let me get this. Let me show y'all something. This is not. I, I feel this way too. But this is not nothing I'm saying. This comes from the powers that be. This come from the powers that be, the people that's in position of power. Okay, y'all got a man that did 30 years in prison, and we got audio of this man. Now, hold up, let me finish. They had a, a coalition meeting with people from the bottom, a lot of former inmates, right? Now, let's talk truth, talk reality. The, the, y'all leader, y'all self-appointed black leader, T. Wynn, listen. Listen what he said. He said he went to prison. See, this is the stuff y'all don't know I got audio of. Let me, let me tell you, I did, this is the stuff I have audio of, proof of. See, I can really destroy motherfucker. We listened to, at that meeting, 
it's a man from the, the, the commissioner, man up from what's his name, goddamn. He say he come from Ohio. He said he come from Ohio where the real gangs come from, right? I want y'all to show you y'all leaders that's leading y'all so y'all can get to the concept of look who y'all following. Look who y'all listening to. Let's talk truth. Peanut own family said, and we got messages. We got messages. I got people who got message of this. Peanut own family said, they ain't even asked T. Win for no help. They don't even know why he out there. Come, let me shut up. Let me shut up before I go all the way deep into this shit. Before I really get to talking shit. I really get to talking shit. Okay, but let me get on. Y'all self-appointed black leader, the black actor for the black community, and I ain't hating on nobody, I'm talking facts, said this at this meeting that all the inmates, y'all got the Caddo Commissioner dude down. Y'all got the Caddo Commissioner dude down. Listen, somebody that's in position of power finna help you execute a plan, right? He said he come from Ohio where the real gang's at. These fake gangs out here in Shreveport, right? What T. Win say? Which he just should have shut the fuck up. This ain't about real or fake. This is about results of black people. Let me show you how. Let me show you how he alienate this black man that's in position of power. See, let me show you about results. Let me show you how he alienate this black man that was in position of power. This black man that possibly finna help criminals get funded to help the black community they're trying to get us at the table with solutions to help these babies look what t-win response was when that black man said this well i come from ohio where the real gangs at these are fake gangs down here in shreveport know what t-win say instead of him just shutting the fuck up what he say oh no nah, we real gangs i was in a real gang Yolanda George, I agree with you on that. I sure agree with you on that. Listen what he said. These ain't fake gang. These are real gang. I'm, I'm, I'm from a real gang. I'm just saying, whether you was or not, whether we agree is it fake or not, it's all dumbass bullshit. You shouldn't even say it that. So he don't know. He alienated that black man that's in a position of power. Hold on. I'm not finished. So all, he goes on to tell the story that he did 30 years in prison. He left the streets at 16 years old. Let me tell you, you the shit they say. The dumb shit these niggas say. And these the niggas y'all following think they gonna make change for you? These niggas all about them goddamn selves. That's, listen to me good. This nigga say, I went to prison at 16 years old. When I came back home, I'm still at 16 years old. He said he went to prison at 16. He came back home when he got home three, four years ago. He was still 16 years old. Then he go on to say he's 19 years old now. Huh? Now he said he's he's only 19, a 40-year-old man, a damn near 50-year-old man said he's only 19 years old now. No, Jadera Green, I'm not lying. These are factual facts. This what these the people that look look what he said. A man that fifty say he's only nineteen years old now. They laughing at us down there. Man, they're laughing at them people in power are laughing at us. They are laughing at us. Look who we got. But yet, get what y'all don't know. These people of power reach out to me. Why? 
because I'm a reasonable black man. Yeah, they they get that I talk shit and all that. But guess what? They understand why. They say it's your message. See, that's the difference that I get. They say it's your message. You the one that's waking black people up. You the one that got the plan. You the one that got the program. See, I ain't just yelling at these politicians. I'm coming with them with plans, results. These niggas bickering. They were going to introduce police reform. Let me tell you about your, poli your self-appointed leaders. They were finna introduce police reform. But on the other side of that, they wanted to teach kids at a young age about compliance. By complying with the police, right? By complying with the police. What these niggas want? Now, nah, why we got to comply? Do you want police reform or not? Complying is a big part of this shit, too. Before you get murdered, what happened first? Before you get murdered, what happened first? You got to comply. See, we can't worry about the ending if we can't fix the beginning. These Negroes won't sit here and say, man, we were wrong by Peanut. Not saying he don't deserve justice, but we were wrong. First, they say he was shot in the back, handcuffed. That was a lie. They say he didn't have a gun. That was a lie. He got pulled over because of a drive-by. That was the goddamn truth. Y'all say, well, the police ain't say. Well, the police ain't say that. They say they pulled him over for a yellow line. So the police that's waiting on backup supposed to tell him, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer said it perfect. We need reform, compliance, income. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Police reform covers it all. But y'all leave, they don't want, they don't want the kids to learn compliance. I thought y'all love God. Ain't, don't y'all love the Bible? Ain't y'all Christians? Don't the, don't, don't the word of God say respect authority, whether it be good or bad? Don't the word of God say that? Ain't y'all Christians? Yeah, that's what they're basically saying. Fuck my relative that he murdered. That was my relative that he murdered. Let's talk about truth. So, how you think my cousin feel? My cousin feel she got justice now. My cousin feel God answered her prayers about her son. So, is she wrong? Is she wrong? It's like y'all justify everything these low-life street niggas did. Yeah, yeah, LeVette, they need training too. I talked to a dude that was a police officer. Let me tell y'all something. One of my homeboys, he's a police officer. He how I get a lot of information. And he had this to say to me. This was exact words. He said, Marcus, MJ, you know I'm for our people. He said, he said, why are they doing this for Peanut? And why they didn't do this for Alonzo Bagley? He said, we here in the, in the police department even agree that Alonzo Bagley was murdered. He said, but why they are doing this for Peanut? He said, MJ, you know how far he said, that man had a gun and everything. He said, do anybody think about how a police officer feel? He said, we're a human. He said, yeah, they could train us all day how to deal with, he come a shooter, a hostage situation. He said, but all that's computerized. That's all that's computerized. We're not in the field being trained. Well, we know a nigga got a gun, he finna shoot us. He said, we're not getting that type of training. So it's gonna be different. Yeah, you can train me all day. When it's not no emotion, because I know when that, that, that cardboard pop up. 
rob it, but it's going to keep happening to us till we start holding us accountable. I'm not saying, I think y'all missing my point. I'm not saying we deserve to die. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm talking about is compliance that matters. We can't, so anytime you have a problem, you're going to fix the end of the problem and not the beginning? Because the beginning is what causes the problem. But anyway, let me tell you what my uh, police partner tell me. He say, MJ, we human too. He say, he say, they not missing your point. <laughs> he say, we have feelings too. We're human too. We're not, he said, we, yeah, we're trained at the academy, but it ain't got nothing to do with emotion or high stress because you don't know how this is about to go. Because we already know this person that they finna bring up on the stream not finna shoot us. He said, so how do I come to a scene? I see you with a gun raised. How do I know you're not gonna shoot? Do I post a, oh, I'm gonna wait and see if he gonna kill me first? He said, what I supposed to do, wait and see is he say I'm going to wait and see. He's like, no, you just know the fire. So he gave me the analogy. He said, he said, he said this. He said, what if I walked in your house, MJ, with a gun? He said, I ain't got the gun pointed at you or nothing. I'm just holding this gun. And you got your gun on you and you see me walk in your house with a gun. You don't know me or none of that. What you think you finna? I said, yeah, I'm finna shoot the shit out of you. He said, now what if the people tell you, you need to go to jail? Because he wasn't a threat. How you know how a person know what's a threat? You, you know, he, when I said, man, I get it. He said, we're a human too. Y'all trying to take the human element out of it. See, that's the stuff we be missing. Like, yeah, they know he admitted. He said, yes, we need training. He said, yes, we got a lot of bad and racist cops. He said, yes. He said, but what are y'all going to do too? He said, I supposed to put my job, my livelihood on the line. For the same people that say, fuck me. He said, I supposed to put my job and livelihood on the line for the same people that yell, fuck me. <coughs> for the very people that say they hate the police until they need the police. He said, all these black on black murders that they haven't got justice for. No evidence for, nobody snitching or nothing for. Why ain't nobody at the police station trying to hold the DA and them and all them accountable for getting results? This is the conversation we had. He said, that's why we don't take this shit serious, because they make a mockery. They, they are conflicted in what and how they do. He said they are conflicted in how they do. He said they always justify street nigga. He said, T. Wynn said, he said he heard T. Wynn say himself, he ain't going to send no black man to jail. So you're telling me right or wrong, you can't send black. He said, so how are you for black people? So you're only going to get justice for people that been done something wrong by white people. You're not going to get justice for your black people. See, then, and, then, and then he said, you think we finna take him serious? He said, you expect us to take him serious? He said, you know how he's making it look? He said, this man going around, he said, you're telling people you're working with t Win. t Win going around telling people he ain't working with you and fucking with you. But people listening to you, not him. Now, they talk about how they done propped him up like he the face of black people. Do he know peanut and them on If y'all need proof, I can post the messages. They said they didn't ask him to do They don't know why he doing this.
Let's talk reality. Y'all justified peanut, but vilified John Morant. Make it make sense to me. I'm not saying per NBA wise, if that's they rule, that's a private entity. That's the NBA rule. That's a private entity. He got to be held accountable. But I'm talking about the way people talking about he wrong for having a gun and all that. Come on. But you justify peanut. But you vilify John Morant. I just want y'all to make it make sense. We supposed to get justice for all. We all included. Or y'all will say this. I ain't helping no black man that ain't out marching, fighting, and protesting with me. What? So just because I ain't out marching or protesting, I don't deserve justice. I don't deserve justice. But ain't none of them got no plan for how y'all beat the system. We know the system racist. We know these white folks been killing us. We know all this shit. So what you gonna do about it? Y'all, y'all gonna tell me they racist. Y'all so why am I gonna help the racist system to get me then? We y'all say the police out killing black men. So why the fuck am I going to help them kill me? Jack, I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying he can't have a gun. No, I'm talking about my point I'm making, not against John or Peanut. I'm just making a point of Peanut got out with a gun on the police, fought with the police. Y'all, they justified him, right? John Moran just showed a gun on video. And they vilified him. My point is, which one is wrong and which one is right? To me, it looked like Peanut was more in the wrong than John Morant. But Peanut getting justified. John Morant not. He's getting vilified. I'm not telling people don't show up, don't protest Peanut or not. I'm not. Do what you feel. But it's supposed to be for all. You know how I feel when they calling me. That's why I be so passionate. When they call me, they ask about Robert Bruchon. They ask me why Robert Bruchon ain't out front more. They ask me this. They got who they want to see. Because one thing, well, only thing they dislike about Robert, he too militant. He don't know when to cut it off, cut it off. I'm talking about what they say, how they feel. Why you think we can't get results? It's the people they putting before us. We got Robert Bruchon, the only young nigga. I like MJ Walters too, that's my boy. But one of the only young niggas out the hood, whether you agree or disagree with Robert Bruchon, he the only young nigga out the hood, out the ghetto, that fighting for us. The only young nigga. Ain't nobody else talking for the youngsters. Ain't nobody else speaking for the youngsters. They won't even let the youngsters get a seat at the table. I'm trying to advocate for them. Listen, man, I got some niggas from SOD here right now. Let's bring them in to the table. I got some niggas from BBBG here right now. Let's bring them to the table. Uh, they don't want them young niggas. Oh, no, man. It's nothing but these old people trying to lead us. Misguiding us, lying to us. All they want to play is for the money. It ain't nothing wrong with playing for the money. Make it for, for better for black people. Make sure they'll get nails in two. They only show up when it's a police injustice. We got to show up for everything. And goddamn it, protesting ain't going to stop killing on neither side. Protesting ain't going to stop killing on either side. Protesting ain't going to stop it from either side. 
Exactly, Blakely. Whoever comes to the table needs to spit facts and not feelings. See, that's their problem. All they any feelings and emotions don't work in the court of law. Fuck how you feel about something. Fuck how you emotional about something. It don't work in the court of law. It don't work in politics. See, y'all fighting something. Y'all don't even know how to fight. You got to learn how to fight. Yes, we know the system is racist. We know the system is corrupt. We know all that. So what you going to do about it? You going to complain and pro no, that ain't going to get results. You got to get on the inside. I keep going back to that story of Esther. Y'all really need to understand the story of Esther. When, when Esther was finna reveal to the people who she was, her uncle told her, no, don't reveal yourself yet. See, you can be who you are, but get at the table first. Then reveal yourself when it's time. See, you got to know how to play that game. You know how the white people come to the black community when it's voting time, go to our black churches? So why you can't pander like, oh, no, y'all too real, too busy trying to be real niggas. Y'all too busy trying to put street code in politics. Y'all trying to bring street code, street logic into the real world. It doesn't work. Stop it. You're losing. Street rules is for losers. Street rules, street politics, street logic, and real nigga logic is strictly for losers. It lose, it don't win. It don't win. It don't work in real life. You're saying don't snitch, but you want the police to snitch. Right? So if it's don't snitch or is it snitching? Please tell me the truth. Cause by right, by right, we should all have something to say. By right, we should all feel some type of way when a black mother then lost a son. How can a black man that supposed to be for black people tell a black mother? Now, I ain't getting justice for your, for your son because I can't send a black man to jail. A black man that committed murder. You didn't tell that black man to commit murder. But see, you ain't going to send another murderer to jail because you's a murderer. See, you're conflicted. You can't send another black man to jail because you's a murderer. Do you think about the family of the man you killed and how they feel? Now, okay, we're well, going to ask you this. What if the person you killed, family wanted to come back and kill you? Is that justice? Wouldn't you want us to get justice for you? What if the family of the man you killed go kill one of your daughters, T-Win? Wouldn't you want justice? Let's talk the hardcore truth and reality, the stuff y'all scared to talk about. This truth, see how y'all conflicted and double mind. See, the word of God tells me this. See, the word of God tells me this. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. See, the word of God tell me a double-minded man is unstable in all his name. Wait. It's Jeffrey Owen, say his name. Jeffrey Owen, say his name. Jeffrey Owen, say his name. He was murdered by another black man. Jeffrey Owen, say his name. Jeffrey Owen, everybody put Jeffrey Owens in here. Say his name. Thank you. Thank you, Joseph. Very and can't be trusted. How you going to be? I'm going to have one feet in the street and one feet in the politics. I'm going to be a rapper, an actor. I... Shut up. Jeffrey Owens, say his name. 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 Jeffrey Owens, 
Jeffrey Owens, say his name. Jeffrey Owens, say his name. Jeffrey Owens, say his name. You took them people, family member, child. What if that family said you deserve to be in jail forever? They got every right to feel that way. Y'all too conflicted for me. Y'all see me. I'm for black people and I'm going to destroy. I'm going to destroy that black nigga way of thinking. I'm against the street. I can't be a black man and didn't say I support the streets. If I'm for the betterment of black people. How I'm for the betterment of black people. How I won't judge it for black people. But yet I'm a, I'm a support street rules and street law. When street rules and street law is the number one killer in the black community. But these same street niggas and killer, you call them a bitch, they'll kill you. That white man get them in jail and tell them to get their punk ass behind it, put their hand behind their back. What them niggas do? Yes, sir, boss. They don't say yes, sir, to their mama. They don't say yes, sir, to their daddy. They don't say yes, sir, to their, um, yes, ma'am, to their mama. But when them white people get them in them handcuffs, they yes, sir, and then bossing. Let's talk reality. See them niggas, see they know they want me to, see they want me to shut up. Cause they know I'm gonna hold their feet to the fire. See, all they do is talk this emotional shit. I'm talking facts over feelings, nigga. It's facts over feelings. Yeah, that white man say, boy, put your goddamn hand behind your back. Yes, sir, boss. Yes, sir, boss. Hey man, they go the white man, they go. See, you can't be double-minded. How you for the betterment of black people, but you rolling with street rules and street law? How you for the betterment of the black community? The, the street nigga, the real nigga, is the new KKK. The black street nigga, the black real nigga, is more racist than a white man have ever been to me. Because they hate me just for being a black man. They hate me for being a black man. My own kind hunt me. My own kind want to kill me behind some words I say. That's true. My own kind want to kill me behind some words. They threaten me every day. Okay, the white people had made it hard for you, made you wear like, but y'all ain't going to the white community and raising hell. Why y'all ain't, the white people that did everything into you but killed you, but you ain't going in a community and raise hell. But you want to kill me behind some words. But you want to kill me behind some words. You niggas are cowards. You niggas are bitches. You ain't gonna hold nobody accountable. But another black person, we came to hold you accountable. I ain't scared of you niggas. Cause woman tell you why woman tell you why I ain't scared of you niggas. Let me show you why I ain't scared of you niggas. Let me show you. Let me show you why I'm gonna show you why I ain't scared of you, you, you niggas. Let me show you why I ain't scared of you street niggas. This is why I ain't scared of you street niggas.
This is why I ain't scared of you street niggas. Someone please call 911 and tell them I've been shot down. It's a bullet in my heart and it's piercing through my soul. I'm getting... See, this why I ain't scared of you street niggas. I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to shoot. I'm going to use the people who work for me. See, I'm going to use the people who work for me. I'm going to use the people. I'm going to use the people who work for me. That's why I ain't scared of you street niggas. I ain't anti-police. I don't hate the police. I don't. I don't. I don't care. Why I'm going to hate somebody who ain't did nothing to me? I don't hate them. Because I need them just like you need them. Breaking my house? No, I'm we're not going to kill you. I'm not going to go get street justice if I'm not there. I'm going to call the police. Kill one of my family members? Nope. I'm not going to go throw my life away trying to hunt you down or none of that. I'm calling 911. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not like y'all. I'm winning in real life. Street rules don't work in real life. Street logic don't work in real life. Street logic, real nigga logic don't work in real life. The street culture, the real nigga culture, has made it bad and impossible for a black man to be a black man. Y'all so fucked up. Y'all would talk bad about a kid that grew up in a two-parent home. No, what's not normal is you nigga growing up single parents. That see y'all to normalize that shit to now that that kid that grew up in a two-parent home in the suburb, he ain't no real nigga. Now y'all got him trying to prove himself. But really, let's tell the truth, street people. Y'all were mad and jealous of that kid that grew up in the suburb in a two-parent home. Y'all really mad that jealous that y'all wasn't that fortunate or that blessed or your mama didn't make the right decisions. Your mama keeps sleeping and fucking with everybody, nothing but street niggas and thugs, and she keep getting the same results. But she won't stop fucking with street niggas and thugs to the point y'all hate this black kid, mama and daddy that did right by him, grew up him in a safe environment. She did, they did what they supposed to do in Pam. If I had a charge, my goddamn kids ain't growing up in the ghetto with you stupid, dumb, broke motherfuckers. Why would I allow my kids to grow up around y'all? What are y'all teaching children that make them need to grow up in the hood? Oh, it make them tough. Yeah, dumb, tough, motherfucker. Yeah, it don't make them mentally tough. Yeah, they dumb, tough, motherfuckers. Yeah, they ain't mentally tough. You ain't taught them how to deal with issues in real life. All you teaching them how to do is exercise they hate on another black man. That's all y'all street niggas do. And I'm more real and streeter than you niggas ever be. Because I ain't scared to speak truth to power. I don't care what nobody think about me. And that's the biggest mental freedom. See, I got mental freedom. Let me show you the type of freedom I got. Maybe let me explain the type of freedom I got. See, y'all ain't free. Let me tell you the type of freedom I got. I got financial freedom. How do you get financial freedom? You learn financial literacy. You become literate. How you become financial freedom? You don't work and get financial freedom. You, if you're working and think you're going to get financial freedom, you're stupid in the motherfucker. Let me explain to you. How you get financial freedom is you get access. Access. 
You get access. And the access that you accumulate start making money for you. See, you don't work for money. You let money work for you. See, that's how I became financial freedom. That's how I became, okay, time freedom. Time freedom. See, y'all never heard of time freedom. See, I got the freedom of time to do what I want, when I want, and how I want. Why do I have time freedom? Because I'm financially free. Okay, I got mental, mental freedom. How do you get mental freedom? When you, get, when you stop caring what people think and say about you. When you stop caring about what people think about you. See, I'm free. I'm not compromised by the white man. I'm not blaming the white man or the black man. I know what I'm up against. So you think I'm going to complain about what I'm up against? I'm just going to do right about what I'm up against. I'm going to make my way. Some stuff going to be easy. Some stuff going to be hard. But I'm going to make my way. I know I'm not going to get certain things all because I'm a black man. But am I going to complain? Because I have a position in power, I'm going to help my own kind too, nigga. I'm not being mad at them white folks for doing everything they supposed to do. Help their own kind. See, you niggas ain't going to help your own kind. You won't help your own kind live in the community with you. You won't help a black mother get justice for her son. And you trying to tell me you for black people. I don't listen to the ignorance of niggas. You think I'm finna fall and listen to niggas I'm more educated, smarter than, and doing better than? Huh? Don't you understand? I'm not gonna listen to no nigga that been behind the walls 30 years that's outdated to everything. Nigga, you don't even know how to work the cell phone yet. I'm not listening to no nigga that don't understand policy. Don't understand voting, how you get changed, and how we go about getting changed. I'm not listening, following no nigga that don't got a plan. So if y'all say I'm against black people, you're goddamn it, I'm right, I am against black niggas. I'm against you boot licking, bojanging, lying ass black leaders. Yes, you motherfucking right, I'm against. Them. Yeah, so you can say what you want about me. Yes, I'm against. Them. Cause y'all don't care. They gave us brink of peoples. What did we get? A bitch that make a lot of noise. They gave us brink of peoples, and what did we get? Are we better off with brink of peoples? When we had brink of peoples, she stayed and shit, right or wrong. Brink of people was so messy, and I was right along with them. I'm just telling you right or wrong, because I believed in them. I believed in them, but they gave us brink of peoples. What did we get when we got brink of peoples? What change did Brigham people get? What since Brigham people are always hollering by policies? She got policy change. Tell her what policy she got changed. But she going around lying, telling people she the reason people pictures ain't on CCC website. <laughs> She, LeVay, the bring of people says she the reason <laughs> that, that people pictures are not on CCC website. I said, this bitch just be lying, say anything. <laughs> okay, we'll give you that. We'll give you that. We'll say you the reason that people pictures ain't on CCC website. How did that help the black community? How did that help the black community? Yes, LeVette Fuller. Yeah, I know. I ain't know the senator name, but I know he was the senator from New Orleans that introduced that bill, uh, LeVette Fuller. See, we know that LeVette Fuller. We know that LeVette, but I'm just telling you what she say. These are the lies they tell. What policy have they got changed? 
Now, listen who else they giving you. Do y'all not tell them they putting these people in front of you for a reason you ain't getting no results? They're making a mockery of you black community. And, and LeVette Fuller. She said, I know, but I'm on my jet ski. LeVette Fuller. See, is any of them activists, LeVette Fuller, is, is any activist talking about the truth and transparency bill? See, not one activist, LeVette Fuller, not none of them, not Brico, not T. Wynn, not none of the activists they done put in front of us that, that self-appointed, that speaking for the black community, not none of them talking about the truth and transparency bill. But I thought y'all were for the betterment of black people. Oh, 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 oh now y'all only care about black people when the police officer do something. I forgot. I, I forgot y'all only care about black people when it's the police doing something. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> so black people ain't important until the police do something to them, right? That's all, by y'all logic and standards. But not one activist said anything about the truth and transparency bill. How, how I'm way in California and I care more about your city than you do. How I care more about you than you do. Yes, uh, LeVette. Yeah, I remember. Let's, LeVette, let's tell them what she did to the black boy. See, this is stuff y'all need to know what Brigham Peoples did to that black boy. It was, y'all remember Brigham going around lying and saying she got all them black kids scholarships, right? She didn't do that. She didn't get no black kids scholarships. That She didn't do that. She didn't do that. That's the biggest lie. Them kids already had this scholarship. But let me tell you what she tried to do. She tried to take the side of this white girl. This white girl lied and said the black boy sexually harassed her, right? Brickle didn't investigate. Brickle really was mad because that same black boy went with Jay Florence and sat down with Dorian Ford and them to get funding. So she got mad. Let's talk about everything. So she got mad. And roll with that white girl, which we knew was a lie. We thankful she helped play the part in the white girl doing it. Cause out of all the kids went to college, the white girl was the only one she took down to college herself. Let me ooh, let me shut up. But anyway, she rolled with a white girl that said this black boy sex harassed her. And that white girl lied on that black boy. Brickle called, called the boy college, trying to get his scholarship and everything too. But when it came out to be the truth, when it came out to be the truth, Mario, this why, this why I stress myself out. It don't that I stress. This is why I do this, Mario, because I own property. Would you be moving anytime soon? Yeah, you need me to move? Yeah, I'll move for you, sir. Yeah. I'll yes, sir. Put in my dog. Down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank okay. You, okay. Yeah, I'll move for you. Yes, sir. But she did not apologize to that black boy. She did not apologize. She tried to get that black boy. She didn't apologize to the family or nothing. Let me tell you what else. Brick of people's lied. Yeah, and because I care, I want my city to be great. I own property. I know it's a corporation that we could take over. That's why I care. I see the big picture that's going to change lives. I love my people. What's wrong with me, Karen? I'm good. I can sit back and be cool, but I still got family. I want to live the American dream. I still got family. I want to be successful. I still got homeboys. I want to see successful, whether it's in Shreveport or somewhere else. But I'm going to start with where I'm from because the word of God tells me charity starts at home. That's what the word of God say, charity starts at home. So, in other words, I got to help my own first. That's why. 
That's why. In our own property. Do you think when they start building on I-49 and all that, when they get ready to buy me out, do you think I want to be the only nigga benefiting? Why I can't help my other people benefit? Do you think they got a hundred million dollars finna come to Shreveport? They got a hundred million dollars finna come to Shreveport, right? We are obligated to 30% of that, the black community. To th and so 30% of a hundred million is what? 30 million? So we are obligated. So how is that not helping, Mario? You're telling me I'm not helping. How is it not helping? Because I go against the street. Or are you helping the city? You said what I'm doing is not helping. Are you on the phone with any politicians and city council members? So how are you telling what I'm doing is not helping? How many life? I done got over $500,000 come to the city of Shreveport. So how I don't love my brothers and sisters? Because I'm speaking truth? See, that's y'all problem. We can't tell y'all the truth. We don't love you. See, no, see, that's what y'all need to learn. A motherfucker could tell you the truth if the motherfucker they love and care about you. But since you say that's not helping, what are you doing to help? What are you doing to help for the betterment of black people? Y'all still identify as gang members. Y'all still claiming sex. Y'all still claiming sex. Y'all still taking pictures with your ass hats on and... Yeah, come on. How, who, how's that helping? Since I'm not helping. But how many people have you got funded? How many? I can get I can get over 50 people on here and can tell you what I did for them. I can get over 50 people on here and tell you what I did for them. That's just in Shreveport, not talking Virginia, not talking Cali, not talking Memphis, Tennessee, not talking Dallas, Texas, not talking Oklahoma. And when I get home, I could put my receipts up here and show you. I'm just asking questions. Since y'all want to hold me to the fire, what are y'all doing? That's all I'm asking. You say my way is not helping how? How, how, how are you talking to city council members? Are you talking with police officials? Are they asking you, do you have a plan for us? What do we need to do for the betterment of Shreveport? So how my way ain't helping? Okay, didn't Mario, didn't you justify a uh, peanut, right? Since you say it, say love your brothers and sisters, right? I'm going to ask you something, Mario. Since you quoting Bibles, it say love your brothers and sisters, right? Don't the word of God also say respect authority, whether it be good or bad? Huh? Don't the word of God say respect authority, whether it be good or bad, Mr. Mario Martin? Huh, Mario? Don't the word of God say respect authority, whether it be good or bad, yet you justify in peanut. I'm going to stay talking down about niggas because they wrong. I can talk down. Don't you listen to rap, rap music? I do treat people as I want to be treated. You do right, I do right. You can talk about me. You can't hurt my feelings. Who I can holler neighborhood, yes. What's wrong with me holler neighborhood? Nipsey was holler neighborhood, but what he did, what did Nipsey do? Did he change his community? Yeah, want me to tell you why I holler neighborhood? Because you niggas love gang culture. So I know how to use gang culture to wake you niggas up. Cause that's the only thing you niggas identify as game banger. So, yeah, so why I can't scream neighborhood? What's wrong with it? Neighborhood? Cause that was a part of me. But am I am I out there making people join gangs? No. Am I out there killing? See, I took gang culture 
I took the positive out of it, the, the unity in it, and created uniformity. When I went to Virginia, what we had, everybody hollered neighborhood. But you only can wake up to sleep, man. What you mean? See, see that what y'all say. There's no authority except this with God. As but uh, y'all got to see y'all moving to go. It is authority. So if it's not authority, why did God put you in the position of a title? So Rooker, see you say it ain't no authority, but God authority. Who who run your business? Who who who, 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 who God running your business or you running your business? So you by by your logic, Rookers, Rookers, Trev and Knight, you're telling me God running your business, not you. So damn what you so your employees shouldn't listen to what you say. They just should listen to what God say. Right? So what if God, your one of your employees tell you since you're we're going by your logic, it ain't no authority but what God say, right? So we're gonna go off your logic. So if somebody come to your job and say they was late and you're holding them accountable because you're in a position of authority and they tell you, well, God told me I could be late. I'm just saying, I, I want y'all to repeat the stuff. We got, Thank you, Blakely. God say respect the laws of the land. Go read y'all Bible. Go read y'all scriptures. But I'm just throwing stuff out there. I want y'all to repeat the stuff y'all be saying. It's like, it's like, it, this is what I get to. It's like all these black men hate me for being bold. They hate me for talking shit. They hate me for telling. Why they dislike me so much? I'm, these niggas jealous of me. They, yet they dislike me, but stay watching me. Won't block me or nothing. Won't kill me. Won't do nothing. But they telling me what I can't do, but I'm doing it. And what are they doing in their life? Like, seriously, what are they doing in their life? That's what I want to, that's what I want to, it ain't about broadcasting it to the world. Everything is broadcasting to the world now, nigga. I'm getting results. These kids want to see what you're doing. These kids need to see what you're doing so you can gain them. These kids need to see. Them. But I can say fuck the dead. Don't the word of God tell you let the dead bury the dead? I'm not a Christian. I'm a man of God. So I can't speak. I can't say I love God but fuck the dead. How, how am I wrong for that? That's what I'm saying. So it's like, oh, we supposed to just be one way, right? So God made me, well, I don't post to talk shit to nobody. I just post to. Because I speak about God. Don't the word of God say let the dead bury the dead? And if you understood my message, see how y'all, if you understood my message, if you really listen and stop trying to listen to me just to respond or to have something to say, if you really listen, I care about the living. Fuck the dead. I love the living. I celebrate life. I don't celebrate death. That's why I say fuck the dead. Because all y'all do is show the dead fake love. Y'all, when the dead die, y'all give them a birthday party on their birthday. Y'all do a party on the day they died. But when they were living, you wouldn't even throw them a goddamn birthday party. So fuck the dead. The word of God say let the dead take care of the dead. Let the dead bury the dead. Let the dead celebrate the dead. I celebrate life and living. But I'm wrong. I'm wrong for telling niggas how dumb y'all is that y'all would die behind a car in the neighborhood. You niggas representing the California game. Who got to be the dumbest niggas in the world? That's why I stopped that shit. You niggas represent the California gang, not a Shreveport gang. Y'all represent a gang from an area y'all ain't from. So who got to be the dumbest nigga what? I'ma die and go to war for a gang that was created in a whole nother area that I ain't from. That them same niggas don't even respect us. That's why I left that shit alone. Them same niggas don't even respect, but y'all tell me y'all bad and tough. But y'all telling me y'all bad and tough, though. 
Why should I want to be any of y'all? Y'all, y'all shit ain't working for y'all. Y'all life ain't even working for y'all. Not saying you, Mario, has posed to you. I'm just saying in general. Cause I know what you doing, you know. But I'm just saying in general. I ain't gonna. I ain't saying your way ain't working. Cause I know your way working for you. But you, you get what I'm saying, Mario. Why would I do that? Once I wake up, see y'all. The thing is, I done woke up. I'm not thinking like y'all no more. So don't be mad at me that I woke. You're not gonna understand it. You're not gonna understand it because I'm not sleep anymore. I'm woke. My eyes open. Remember when? Remember when God removed the scales out the blind man eye? See, he even removed them scales out my eye. That you nigga would die behind the color in a neighborhood. You don't even own the motherfucking mailbox in. See, the difference is, I'm a ride for Shreveport. Why? Because I own property in Shreveport, Louisiana. So, of course, I'm a ride. I need the property value to go up. I need all that to go up. I need money to come to Shreveport. I need businesses to come to Shreveport. See, that's the difference between, I'm a, my eyes open. I'm not a lost nigga no more. I'm not a real nigga. I'm not a street nigga. I'm just MJ, baby. Nothing else. See, I'm not going through identity crisis like y'all. Y'all in y'all 40s, 50s, and still identify as gang members, as street niggas. What else are y'all besides gang members and street niggas? Y'all going through identity crisis. See, I done found myself. See, you can't be mad at me for finding myself. You can't be mad at me for God got me walking in purpose. Hey, you don't be talk to God. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me, brother. You should celebrate me. Like I'm not I'm not no dumb lost nigga no more. So don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me that I love black people. So just because I love black people don't mean I can't talk shit about them, but they fucked up way of thinking. So I can't talk bad about, I can't tear street niggas down, right? According to your logic. When street niggas are the ones that destroy the black community, right? But I forgot y'all real niggas, y'all street niggas. But when somebody kill y'all child, what gonna happen? Somebody kill y'all parents, what gonna happen? See, nobody cares until it's them. Then when it's y'all, say something, somebody tell. Nope. I thought it was no snitching. Nope. But y'all say no snitching, but want the police to snitch. Nope. Street nigga rage don't work in real life. Street niggas are the dumbest, racist, Niggas you ever want to meet in your life. Street niggas hate black men. Who are street niggas killing? Black men. They ain't going to go killing the white people. They ain't going to go kill the white man since they hate the system so much. Why they ain't going to murder the white man that created the system? But they'll kill another nigga behind a collar. They'll kill another nigga behind a neighborhood. They'll kill another nigga behind the word bitch. That white man ain't make you pull that trigger. That, that white man ain't made you pull that trigger. <coughs> Stop blaming white folk for everything and blame you nigga self. You nigga dying behind neighborhoods and colors and sets y'all ain't even from and shit. But want to tell me there's something wrong with me? <laughs> shit, I think it's something wrong with y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stay hollering neighborhood. Yeah, it's neighborhood crib, nigga. Yeah, that's a part of me. But am I out there pushing on, on the block with the crib on? I'm gay. No, nigga, I tell you, you bad not, nigga. That's a part of me. But now I'm using it different. I know it's crips and niggas everywhere. So now, nigga, oh, that's the homie from neighborhood. What's up, cuz? Woo. Now I get up in there with them homies. Ask them the moves I'm making in L.A. Y'all look up to Big U. I do business with Big U. Y'all look up to Cowboy. Y'all look up to these L.A. niggas. Guess who I'm around doing business with? Guess who I'm around fixing their business credit? Ask Cowboy what I did for them. See what you see the difference? 
See how I use the neighborhood crib? Hey, y'all, come on. Over here. This is how I'm doing it. Neighborhood. Yeah, nigga, neighborhood. See how they, they, you the same neighborhood. The same nigga y'all look up to, I do business with. <laughs> They say I can't holler neighborhood. Nipsey will holler neighborhood and he changed lives. Go look at the 6 old community. Off of what Nipsey did. But I guess you're going to say I ain't Nipsey. Yeah, it's true. But they got another one down the street. Then they got one in Beverly Hills. They watch everything I do. They understand it. So you think, these, you know, my one of my main partners from neighborhood be on my lives. They know everything I do. They be telling me to go do what I do. They love it. I'm not telling nobody. How am I tearing it down if I'm telling you the truth? They know everything I do. Mike Weezy, you just watched the podcast. They were just talking about it. See, see how they, see how niggas study trying to tell me what I'm doing. But what are they doing? He telling me what they are. They know everything I do, nigga. You think these people going to have me moving and around them? And they don't know what I'm up to? You, you, talking about I'm on the neighborhood when I'm with Cowboy. Nigga, I'm neighborhood. I, they know when I'm what I am, nigga. Like, what the fuck? So I just supposed to be neighborhood crib out when I go to Beverly Hills. Are you going to Beverly Hills sitting down with an NFL player? Huh? I'm just asking you that. Are you going to Beverly Hills to have a sitting down with an NFL? So I supposed to go up in that meeting. Oh, this neighborhood crib is from your logic, right? When I go meet with these white people, this NFL player that I'm going to give my business proposal to, I supposed to, oh yeah, this neighborhood crib cuz. See, I know who I am. I'm bigger than a set. I'm bigger than a gang, nigga. I could be what I want when I want to be. I don't give a fuck how y'all going to hold me account. I'm going to be what I want to be. If I want to be a crip, if I want to be a bitch, I want to be a hoe, I'm going to be whatever I need to be. Ain't no nigga going to stop me. I know we all used to be there. Does that make it right? Cause we all used to be that. I'm finna tear it down. Oh, I'ma try my best. Let you niggas know y'all fake as a motherfucker. Damn. See, y'all mad really cause I'm exposing how fake y'all street niggas are. That's what really mad. That's the problem is. Y'all did all that game banging ain't made no money off of all the LA niggas profited. Y'all didn't. How it feel to die behind another nigga neighborhood you ain't from? Tell me how it feel the rappers in another nigga neighborhood you ain't from. But you speaking in circle because that's the same BS you say. Niggas claiming that ain't did shit for. I'm, I'm confused. What you mean? But you speaking in circles because that's the same BS you say. Niggas claiming that ain't did shit for. Ain't did shit for what? I like ain't did shit for what? Like so, you want me to? So you you want me on here, Brad? Yeah, black kids, y'all keep game banging. The game bangers are the realest niggas. Now, that what you want me to say? Do you know how big you and Cowboy and them feel about this gang shit? Have you talk, Have you ever had a conversation with Big You and Cowboy and them to see how they feel about this gang shit? Have you sat down with Melvin Farmer and see how he feel about this gang shit? So I ain't qualified to say it. So the big you telling me that gang banging shit was the stupidest, dumbest shit we ever did, it, it'd be factual then because I'm saying it, it's a problem. Do you, have you sat down with these, you came and come around these people. I'm sitting and I have meetings with these people. How you think I knew about how to do in the non-profit and all that big you taught me, nigga?
I'm just saying, since we trying to discredit me, since I'm speaking in circles, well, if I'm speaking in circles, that motherfucker round than a motherfucker. Yeah, let me keep speaking in circles. Ain't nobody going to stop me from speaking in circles. But yet, y'all rappers in another nigga neighborhood y'all ain't from. Y'all came and sit down and talk to these people. These people don't respect you niggas. They asked me how y'all how I feel to be represent a neighborhood and said you ain't even from. Like how y'all niggas represent other niggas neighborhoods. I'm just saying, but you don't have these conversations with these gangbangers. They don't respect y'all cause y'all hang with Hoovers. And Hoovers they biggest enemies. Y'all wear yellow. They laugh at y'all. They call y'all banana crips cause y'all wear yellow. Yeah, y'all wear yellow. They laughing at y'all. Them banana crips, they too ragging like the Hoovers. Let me show you how they make a mockery of y'all. But yet y'all rappers in they city. See, they gave me the name Neighborhood Country. They gave me the name Sea Fly. Because I came and uh, let's do some business. See, I ain't come with no game bang. I came to do business. Then when I came to do bid, oh, this little nigga know what he talking about. I'm fucking with you, country. How I do the store in Virginia? Big U. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, I don't feel no type of way because I'm telling you facts. I bet you can't tell me now. i give you $1,000 right now if you can put me on the phone with any reputable nigga from L.A. you talking to from 6-0. I'll send you $1,000 right now on my kids. See, y'all can't tell me anything. And that same nigga you talking to, I guarantee I can go pull up on him. Now, let's let, let make a point. Let, let's prove... Discredit me on Facebook because that's what you're trying to do. Because I'm speaking truth and you ain't got nothing to say. You can't say nothing. Study trying, but you can't argue nothing I'm saying. How does it feel to be a banana crip? Answer that. Answer this, Mario. How does it feel as a black man to represent a neighborhood in a set you ain't from? Niggas don't even respect you. So tell me how it feels. You from Shreveport, Louisiana, right? Why are you rappers in the Cali set that you're not from? How does that feel? How does it feel to die behind a neighborhood of color or ride behind a neighborhood of color you don't own a mailbox in? Answer, let me ask, ask them questions now. That's what we talk. Let's talk about that. A nigga, let's bet the thousand dollars. Shit, that's a bet. Nigga, $1,000, then I'm going to donate it to you from a non-profit. Now it's going to be a tax write-off. You see how I'm going to win? See, let me show you. I'm going to give you the $1,000. I'm going to do it as a donation. Now I get a tax write-off. So technically, I ain't really giving, never gave you the 1000 I get to keep it. Yeah, I got your number. I'm going to call you, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I know how to do this shit. This, this is what I keep saying. This, 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 I want y'all to show this. You see see how they'll come against me? For me speaking the truth. Oh, I'm talking. For me speaking the truth. For me speaking the truth. You look how they come at me, y'all. For me trying to work black men up. For me trying to show niggas that ain't the way. Now, this ain't no opinion. These facts I'm speaking, yeah. Opinion is not supported by facts. I'm speaking facts. There's not no opinion. <laughs> no, these factual. They're not opinions. I get what you're saying. Yeah, that's what you're trying to describe. You say I'm trying to tell people why I can't tell niggas down that destroying the black community. Y'all don't like me? So I'm supposed to support people that's against the very people I'm supporting. 
So I'm supposed to support people that destroy the black community is what you're saying. I'm just asking. Okay. So Mario, what is your suggestion for black people to do then? What is your suggestion what we do? Let me tell you what plan you got. What, what's your idea for black people? How can we make black people better then? How we can make living conditions for black people? Better living condition for black people. How can we create change for black people? I, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm going to see what these. Okay, but you can't answer my tough questions. I'm going to call you. I'm on my live when I get off this. But I'm making a point. What's your plan for black people since you're telling us what we ain't doing or what I'm doing? What's your plan? Let's work on your plan for black people. Yeah, we waiting on you. Everybody here, we waiting on you right now. We, I'm going to show y'all. No, okay, I'm going to call you. But what are you doing for black? We are, You said it publicly. Now show us publicly. You talking about it. Show us your plan so we can work on your plan. Okay, I'm waiting on the plans. I'm waiting on your plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You typing everything. Yeah. What What's your betterment of black people playing at? That? That's what I'm saying. I want to say. What you think we should do about the violence then? How you stop the violence? Something. Just give me an idea, a plan or something. Since I can't do what I'm doing, but I'm getting all these results. I'm getting all these results, but I can't, I'm supposed to be doing what I'm doing. See, one thing about the results I'm getting, I'm going to get me regardless. But I, I'm helping my people in me at the same time. See, we all win the way I'm trying to do Yeah, I just want to know the plan. They're quick to tell you what not to do and ain't do. Nobody have no plan, though. They motherfuckers say, Zach, say, my sister need new teeth. Go get Medicaid. That's what I'm going to tell you, Zach. Go get Medicaid. Yeah, yeah, I'm on Medicaid. I get Medicaid. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, I got a dentist appointment uh Friday and on June the 5th. Yeah, so yeah, I got I get Medicaid. I love the government. I take advantage of everything the government got had to offer to me. See, I don't complain about I ain't anti-government. So I take advantage of everything they got for me. The government. I love the government. They give away so much free money. Money that we are obligated to. Let me just show you. Here go my food stamp card right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here go my food stamp card right here. See, do you know about own nothing but control everything? Own nothing but control everything. Matter of fact, hold on. Oh, I ain't got it with me. When I go home, I'm going to post it on Facebook. I'm going to show you. I just got another credit card for my business. Guess how much they, they came yesterday? For how much? $500,000. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to post it. I'm going to show you. You can see the, the mail it came in. And so you can see it. I just got another credit card. Came in the mail for $500,000. I'm just asking you a question. So what I ain't doing. So your way working or my way? I'm just, I'm just saying. And I'm going to go and I get all. I'm going to show you. I got a $500,000 credit card came yesterday. I'm going to show you. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I can go take that five, same $500,000 credit card, swipe it into my business, and now I get in three, four days, I have 500000 cash. Yeah, I 
Then let me show you how cold I am. I'm finna, I'm finna legally rob the bank. See, by next year, I have down there two million dollars in credit. By next year, in credit and loans and grants. Watch this. Watch this. So, and everything's strictly in my business name. Let me show you how cold I am. See, y'all don't know how to rob for two million. I'm finna crash my business. I close it down, right? And I'm walking away with two million dollars that don't affect me personally, just affect the business. So that business gonna be closed down. They can't get the money from me personally because it's in the business name. So guess what I done walked away with? <laughs> now tell me that ain't gangster. Now I think I'm a real gangster. <laughs> now tell me, tell me that ain't gangster. Between three car, between three cars, I got one point three million dollars in business funded. That's just three cards, three cards. And between three, I got one for three hundred thousand and two of them for five hundred thousand. So, so with three cards alone, I got one point three million dollars in business credit. Hey, wait, hey, hey, tell me the West Gangsters. Look at all these cards. I can just pull out. I can just go do this. Man, I love money, man. See, they don't know. I'm going to post them pictures of Mike Weezy. I deserve money, man. Ask my cousin. She'll tell you. I used to serve money, man. Before y'all even knew what it was, I used to serve in Phoenix, Arizona when it was Reggie. When you used to come to Phoenix and get Reggie, nigga. Credit card. Another credit card. Another credit card. 80,000 on here, Divi. Another credit card. That one old. This one old. Let me get rid of this one. Another credit card. Did the one with the 300,000 right here. Another credit card. Hold on. Another credit card. Hey, Mandy McGee, they don't even know nothing about Divi. See, they don't know nothing about Divi. They don't know that's an alternative funding company. But I'm just saying, I'm, what's up? Poetry, they go, my girl, shine bright. Poetry. I'm just showing you. This is the difference between me and y'all. You see these gift cards? Y'all, you see this gift card? Let me show you. These gift cards this is what I do. I go to Quill, go to Walmart, when y'all can spend your credit with them and Amazon only with them. I order a gang of gift cards. And you see these same gift cards, I take them and swipe them into my business. I take them and swipe them into my business. Now these gift cards that became what? Cash. Navy Federal! <laughs> See, you ever seen this Sam's card? Member Plus. This is a black business card. Let me give you the credit card. Here go another credit card. Here go another credit card. What they say Costco's executive member. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me say, let me... Since they want to dis since they want to discredit me, now I want them to show y'all any of this. Tell them to show y'all. 
What they say? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. <laughs> Y'all, everybody here. Poetry. Poetry. You know, I'm just showing you. Here go another one. Credit. How much is it, Sheikah? Sheikah, they don't know. Tell them. Then tell them. You know you can go on. Use your Sam's Club card to buy joints and everything. They don't even know Walmart sells joints and everything online. What they say, business debit. Who that with? Bayport Credit Union. What name they say? Emporium LLC. I'm just showing you. Hold up. Listen. Here. What that? Did I just tell y'all I got Medicare? <laughs> Tell them, man, I, but these niggas ain't teaching them that, but they trying to discredit me. But they ain't teaching them that, though. Here go my Medicare card. I'm just telling you. Bridge. Quick bridge credit. Now, Marsha Renee, you know we family. Now, I just like to talk shit just to show them so I could, I could sit niggas on their ass right quick. Another credit. Shiga, you better take it. What the fuck you scared of? Shit, nah, don't be scared. Chase. Just making a point. I could dig in this motherfucker all day. Why you think I talk so much shit I ain't worried about? So you think them game bangers don't know what I do when I'm teaching them how to get that type of money? You think them crip niggas gonna let anything happen to me when I'm teaching them how to get that type of money? When I just showed the crip nigga, nigga, you sitting on a bag that had a 780 credit score, he didn't know what to do with it. I took that same crip nigga. In 45 days, he had $150,000. Look, Sheikah Williams said, I just got the Capital One Gold card full with you. I ain't getting all that credit. Yes, you get all that credit, uh, Sheikah. Now you don't never have to worry about spending your money. Stop spending your money, uh, Sheikah. That's their money. So you rather jeopardize their money. But I'm the stupid nigga they say don't listen to. I'm the nigga they say don't listen. Wait till I get home. I'm going to just show you. Came in the mail yesterday. 500000 
Y'all see me and post it on my page. How I got motherfuckers for their business over $500,000 in Shreveport last month. Three people. I got them over $500,000 in funding. Sheikah Williams, thank you. You see what she... Sheikah, thank you. Thank you, Sheikah. Tell them what's really going on around here, Sheikah. But they say I talk shit. What am I doing? Y'all ready? Y'all show me how to get... Y'all want me to show you how to get money, right? Y'all ready to show me how... Y'all want me to be a real nigga or be a nigga to show you how to get money to change your life? If these street niggas trying to teach y'all this, that you can go put your name in the LLC, and when you get, I'm talking about your real name, and you get a new I E I E, and guess what that is? A new social. And they talking about a CPN. Y'all will pay for a CPN that's, that's federally illegal, right then, right? But y'all, all you got to do is go create an LLC in your real name. Like, let's use Mandy McGee, for example. Her name, Mandy McGee, right? I don't know if that's a real name. I'm just saying. Her name, Mandy McGee, right? So she'll go say, Mandy McGee, LLC, right? So once she get Mandy McGee, LLC, right? She could go get her uh, EIN that say, Mandy McGee, right? You just kept it real in the, the truth. I don't know what that last word supposed to be, Betty Clay. Look what she could say, Wilson say. Most definitely put me and my babies on with that credit. I tell anybody, my kid got a 625 right now, has minor, cause of MJ. Listen, so now you go get an LLC with a new EIN now. What what does a passport number, EIN and social security numbers have in common and a Don and Brad Street number have in common? Huh? What does it have in nine numbers? So now when I go apply for anything, when I go put my name, put my name in, I ain't gonna use my social. I use my EIN. What's gonna come up? Mandy McGee, that's a real name. <laughs> so now anything you get now is up under your business. So if you do fuck over and don't pay up, you ain't in trouble to be. Nah, let me shut up. Let me, I'm, I'm gone. Let me shut up. Come on. Man, they, they don't get it, man, but I'm talking crazy. I talk in circles. I ain't a real nigga. I'm so glad I'm not a real nigga. I thank God I'm not a street nigga. I thank God I'm not dumb as these niggas riding this, riding this bitch. I thank God, nigga, we having fun out this bitch. Next year when I walk away with that $2 million, get what I'm going to do. Start another LLC. I got seven of them. But get what I'm going to do. Start another LLC and do what? All over again. Look what she could say. Everything in her business name. That's all you put everything in your business name. Now you ain't got to be hell. Look, let me shut up. Okay, Jim Merlin Glover. You want to join my live? Send me an invite. Well, I always tell people you need at least two to three hundred dollars start LLC, right? But right now, Zen Business is giving away LLCs free. You just got to pay the filing fee. Ink File is giving away free LLC. You just got to pay the filing fee right now. So jump on and get the free LLCs while you can. And try your best to create you at least three LLCs. 
and watch all that same money circulate amongst everybody. Look, she can see. But I ain't a real nigga. Where my family think I'm the realest nigga ever. Yes, Lord. They say I'm a real. They say I'm not a real nigga. But my family think I'm the realest nigga ever. My kids think I'm the realest nigga ever. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Street niggas mad. Because I'm not a real nigga to them. Street niggas saying I'm a fake ass, bitch ass nigga. Well, I'd rather be fake. I'd rather be a bitch ass nigga. Because I ain't claiming a neighborhood I don't own a mailbox in. I'm not dying for another nigga. I'm not dying for a neighborhood. I'm going to live for my children. They'll die to be real, but they won't live for their kids. What type of niggas are those? But they say I'm fake. They say I'm bitch. But they would die for another nigga. They would die for a neighborhood. They don't even own a mailbox in. But I'm a bitch nigga. But they won't live for their kids. They won't make a better life for their children. They kids suffering. But they say they real niggas. They ain't teaching their kids nothing but how to be criminals and gangsters and street niggas. Yes, Lord. So let me keep being a fake nigga. Let me keep being a bitch nigga. God, thank you for making me a bitch nigga. God, thank you for making me a hoe ass nigga. God, thank you for making me a pussy ass nigga. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I thank God that I'm not a real nigga. I thank God that I'm not a street nigga. Yeah, because it seemed to me street niggas are losing in real life. Yeah, they can't do nothing with their street credit. They can't buy a house with their street credit. They can't buy a car with their street credit. They got so they got A1 key street credit, but it don't get them out of prison. Yeah, they got A1 street credit, but can't buy nothing with it. That street credit they got that's A1 is not accepted nowhere. <laughs> it's not accepted nowhere. Yeah, so seen to me, it's worthless. It's like a penny with a hole in it. It's worthless. Yes, Lord, but they say I'm a bitch. Yeah, let me be a bitch. Yeah, let me be a bitch. Don't tell me I done ran the street niggas off. I thought we were talking shit. Yes, Lord. Yeah, let me be a bitch. I love being a bitch. Yes, Lord. Come on. Hey, yes, Lord. Come on, Father. Yeah, my Father, which art in heaven. He didn't say be a street nigga. Yeah, he didn't say be a real nigga. Yeah, y'all culture has made it bad for black men as such as myself to even be black men. Yeah, you mad at me because I'm against your street code. You're mad at me because I'm against your street politics that don't work in real life. Why would I want to be a loser? Street niggas are losers. Street niggas not winning. Yeah, street niggas are losing in real life. Street niggas are not winning. Y'all living off women. Y'all will be nothing without a woman. Yeah, but the same woman that's taking care of you, feeding you, you say, fuck that bitch. Yeah, that same woman that you living off of, that same woman car you driving, that same woman house you living in, but yet you say, fuck a bitch ass, you say fuck a bitch, huh, you say, why would I be a nigga that say bros before hoes, no lord, why would I want to be a nigga that hang out with niggas over women, no lord, I don't want to be that, oh lord, yeah, y'all hate the same woman that take care of you, you mistreat that woman, what you think you gonna do to me, Huh? That woman providing for you. That woman taking care of you. Yet you're cheating on her. Yes, you're dogging her. You want to hang with a bunch of niggas that ain't doing nothing for you. But you want me to be what you is. No, Lord. I'd rather put hoes before bros. Yeah. I put hoes before bros. Fuck a bro. 
Yeah, and they get mad, y'all. They get mad that I let y'all know these street niggas are really cowards and bitches in real life. They ain't nothing but junkies and dope fiends. They ain't nothing. Ask all the real niggas. They ain't nothing but powder head junkies. Yeah, they ain't nothing but junkies. They ain't got a goddamn thing going off in real life. Without that black woman, they wouldn't be nothing. But yet they tell me, fuck a bitch. Yeah, they tell me these hoes ain't shit. Well, to me, I seem like these hoes are the shit. Yeah, y'all say fuck the black woman ain't fuck a bitch. Yeah, y'all talking about y'all lawyer. But you ain't lawyer to the motherfucker who providing and taking care of you. So why would I want to be with a bunch of men that hate women? Yeah, why would I want to be one of a bunch of niggas that gyrating with their shirt off with a bunch of dicks in their hands? Ain't that what y'all call guns, dicks? Yeah, huh? Yeah, it sound like to me y'all are true homosexuals. Yeah, why would I want to be a nigga that's hard all the time, that's suppressing that homosexuality in them? Nigga, come on out, nigga. Come on out. Why y'all so mad and so angry? Huh? Why y'all so mad and so angry? What you mad at me for over some words, but the white man and did everything systematically to keep you down. But you won't put that energy toward the white man. You won't put that energy toward the white man when the white man and did everything to you to keep you down and broke. But you won't do him nothing. But you get mad at me for the truth. Yes, Lord. Fuck you street niggas. You street niggas are worthless. You street niggas are broke. I don't want to be nothing. Y'all got bad attitudes. Attitude bad all the time. Yeah, what you mad for? Yeah, you blame the white man for everything. All you do is make excuses. Well, the word of God says there will be none without excuse. No, not. That what the word of God say, it will be none without excuse. No, not one. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna stop. Newport. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I'm out. I ain't finished. Hold on. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. You have a great day. You there. They try to tell you I'm broke, but I pay $20 every day for a pack of cigarettes. Yeah, I pay $20 every day for a pack of cigarettes, but I'm broke. So you add that up, that's $700 in a week, right? No, I said 700 in a week. My man bad. Yeah, I'm buying cigarettes. $20, nigga. Yeah. So that's $140, right? In a week. $280 in two weeks. $500. I spend your money, your rent money on cigarettes. Yes, Lord. Yeah, and they mad at me because they are die. From a California gang, but they weigh in Louisiana representing a California gang. You got to be foolish. Yes, Lord. You got to be foolish. Yes, Lord. They say bros before hoes. They say fuck a bitch. Oh, no. Uh-uh. I love a bitch. I know it. What you say? Oh, you deaf? 
You want a cigarette? Yes, sir. Yeah, you good. You good. I understand, brother. You good. Good. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, black man. You need some change? Here you go. Here you go. Hold up. I just dropped some change all in my car, too. Huh, here, here, go your, here, go your, here you go, brother. All right, you be, let me see. I think I got another dollar somewhere. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hold on, I know I got some change that fell out of my car. Hold on. Here you go, brother. Thank All right, be blessed. All right. Yes, sir. You be blessed. Hey, y'all. These street niggas want y'all to... They, want, they mad because we don't say bro before ho. They get mad because they don't love black women, and I do. Yeah, they don't love black women, and I do. Why would I want to be part of an organization that hate black women? And, and black men show us in their deeds and everything. I mean, I ain't going to say black men. I'm going to say street niggas and real niggas show us in their deeds and actions that they hate black women. So why would I want to be a part of it? These same black women we call on the phone and beg from, whether it's our mamas, aunties, and everything when we go to jail. I got you, Mike Weezy. Mike Weezy gave me my name, MGZ. Nigga, yeah, that's what I'm rocking with, nigga. That's my new name, nigga, MGZ, nigga. Mike Weezy and MGZ, nigga, yeah, we rolling with it. Nigga, we finna come up with something. Fuck it, we might make us a company, Mike. Come on, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, we finna do something. Yeah, we finna monopolize the names. Nigga, let's make some money off the name, Mike Weezy. Yeah, we finna put some shit together, nigga. Make these motherfuckers mad at me, nigga. Yeah. Them nigga hate to see you doing your shit, though. Hey, y'all see how I got them posting them facts and receipts? Them street niggas, and they scatter. I told you the best way to kill a street nigga is with proof and facts. See, street niggas argue with emotions and feelings just like a woman. They don't argue with no point or nothing. Okay, no distraction said commanded by kings. Y'all check me out. Hey, no distraction. What is commanded by kings if you don't mind me asking so we can support you, brother? Yeah, we gonna support you. Thank you. Y'all, let's go su support no distractions, man. Commanded by kings. What that is, black brother? Yeah. Yeah, nigga. No distraction. We gonna change the narrative around this bitch. We changing the narrative. We gonna we gonna let y'all see street niggas really are bitches. We finna let y'all see street niggas really ho. Only power they got is a gun. Oh, your clothing line. Hey, send me the link. Uh, uh, my nigga, so I can support. Yeah, I'm finna show y'all street niggas are really bitches. Street niggas are really hoes. I'm finna expose that. Y'all go support. Hey, I'm finna buy. Hey, you got a link so I can go buy some clothes, cuz? Soon as I get home, I'm going on your website. No distraction. Inbox me right now, homie. Y'all, let's support black businesses. Let's fuck Nike. Let's wear our own people clothes. That's where our own people shit. Yeah. Matter of fact, if you got a black coal and company, inbox me y'all link. I'm finna put it on my page and I'm finna start wearing all y'all shit. Yeah, you got a black coal. And I don't give a fuck if it's ugly or not. I'm supporting you. Fuck that. I ain't never wearing you white folks shit no more. Besides tennis shoes, cause ain't too many black tennis shoes I really like that guy. You know, but I'm just saying. Yeah, but other than that, I ain't, yeah, I'm wearing nothing but nigga shit.
Yeah, nigga, we finna change the narrative. Fuck street nigga. We got nigga with no distraction. Commanded by kings. We don't need you street nigga. We got no distraction. Yeah. He gonna make us some fire shit. Yeah, nigga commanded by kings and we are kings. These street niggas want y'all to think y'all just street niggas. Yeah, these street, everybody go support no distraction commanded by kings. Let go support him. Let's show up and show out for a black man that's trying to change the narrative, y'all. Let's support him. Let's support that black man right now. Let's go, no distraction. Yeah, I don't care if it's a shirt. Y'all go support him. Okay, Blakely Brock say they nice too. She just saw this clothing line. Let's get it. Let's go support the brother. Matter of fact, I'm finna do a drawing on my next live. I'm finna see how I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna buy somebody some from him too. I'm gonna buy myself some. Then I'm gonna buy somebody some from him. So if anybody that's interested wants some from him, hit me up and we gonna think of a way we could buy some clothes from him where I could come up with a drawing so I could pick somebody. To buy something from him. God damn, I came all the way the wrong way. So that's what I'm doing today. Yeah, I'm supporting all black businesses now. From now. Matter of fact, I'm finna do y'all one better. Everybody that's serious, let's create a black company in Shreveport, Louisiana. All of us can be on it. If you got some money ready to be a part of it, we finna convey. Uh, do a black company in Shreveport. We finna call it the black market. We need to go find a building and a location. We gonna call it the black market. And in that company, we ain't selling nothing but black owned stuff, clothing and everything, water, juices, whatever black people make. Let's go do it. Let's make one big company, call it the black market. Fuck it. We don't need them to do it for us. Let's do it for ourselves, nigga. Let's do it for ourselves. Now we're going to give an outlet to every black man. Come on. Let's go do the black market. Let's create that company. Yeah, let, let, let's do it differently. We don't. We can make a company just for all black people to come shop at. For, with all the black-owned clothing companies, black-owned food. Black on everything could be right there. Yeah, we finna go do that. I'm finna do that today. Yeah. Stop waiting on the politicians. Let's do it ourselves. See, these niggas can talk shit all day, but if they coming up with a plan to change this shit, if they coming up with a plan to change this shit, do they got an idea? Yeah, nigga, yeah. Nigga, in, in Chinatown right now, I'm finna go holler at my Chinese partner, chong chong gong me. Yeah. Yeah, you niggas still hanging out with niggas. I don't hang with no motherfucking niggas. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, I hang by myself with my family, with some female, or with my wife and foreign friends. And they love me. They appreciate me for my knowledge. These white people, well, how can we help y'all? How can we help y'all? I'm at the table, nigga. I ain't outside looking. See, you got to pass by the White House and take pictures. I'm on the inside, nigga. I don't give a fuck if I'm on the janitor, but at least I'm on the inside. Yeah, you got to take pictures. I'm on the inside every day. What you doing? You tearing us down. You tearing us. Yeah, I'm going to tear you niggas down. I'm going to tear your mindset down. Because the word of God tells me 
you can be you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So to stop y'all from acting where y'all at, y'all can't think the same no more. Hold up, let me get out. Let me get out. Yeah. That look like I win again. Like I win again, neighborhood. See, they said, neighborhood. Neighbors don't do favors. Yeah, but I'ma holler at y'all. I'm gone. I didn't preach enough. I done destroyed these nigga way of thing. What we want, I don't understand, Griff, what we want. I'm finna call, Griff, matter of fact, I'm finna call you. Inbox me your number. I think I still got it saved, I think. Yeah, I'm finna call my bestie. Let me call and talk shit to my bestie, yeah. Yeah, I remember. When me, when y'all, y'all better thank God. Y'all should have hoped me and Griff didn't have our issue. Because when me and Griff were friends, Griff used to keep me off some of y'all ass. Yeah, yeah. Griff saved a lot of y'all. Yeah. Bring my friend back. Yeah. Shout out to Griff. Yeah, my friend. Yeah, my yeah, my bestie. I'm sorry, bestie. Bestie, I apologize. I know you miss me. Tell me you miss me, bestie. Yeah. Bestie, don't you miss me, BFL? Tell the truth. No, I am, friend. Listen, don't you miss me, BFF? Tell them you miss me. Just tell the truth. Like, yeah, I do miss this nigga. No, Shine, it don't have to do certain numbers. I, I tell you that part. I can't just really tell you online because they'll be like, I'm helping you commit fraud, so I ain't going to say it. But, I, yeah, no, nah, it ain't got to do something. Yeah, I, I'll tell you what to do. Yeah, BFF, tell them how you miss me. BFF, tell him I made him one thing about your BFF. He made everything better than the BFF. I made you understand everything. Tell him how the kids and everybody left me. Look at my BFF. See how she tell I ain't scared to say I know you miss your baby. I tell I'm going to talk to my friend. Inbox me your number now. Y'all finna go. I'm finna talk to my friend. Let me talk to my BFF. Yeah, yeah. Well, y'all better hope I don't hook back up with my BFF. Y'all in trouble. Now, if y'all knew some of the shit me and my BFF was making happen, boy, y'all be like, what? All right, Shine. Poetry. Yeah, hit me up. Hey, BFF, tell them some of the shit we were pulling off. Let me shut up. <laughs> my BFF could tell y'all some stories, boy. We were. <laughs> and it was easy, too, BFF. Just get it, hey. That's all. Let me shut up. Let me. <laughs> But I just love when a plan come together. BFF, tell them niggas. That nigga don't do nothing with no motherfucking niggas, do it. <laughs> yeah, he just make money off niggas. Yeah, that nigga running with them females. Tell them, BFF. Hey, y'all, them niggas mad. The activists, everybody, they want me to shut up. I will not. I'm going to keep talking shit. Keep doing what I'm speaking with logic and reality. Fuck our perception. Fuck emotions and feelings. It's facts over feelings. Look at me and my... Boy, me and my BFF used to do some hell of a shit. I don't... BFF, you know certain shit I wish I could talk about so bad. Just let them know like, yeah, we would do... Yeah, nigga, we tough. We was a hell of a combination. I ain't going to lie, though. Yeah, I've got to go. I've been talking my BFF. I miss my friend. Yeah, me and my friend. Yeah, y'all know me and my friend fell out for a moment. She had hurt my feelings, really. Yeah, cause, you know. But I ain't going to talk about that. I ain't going to add that out. But G hurt my feelings. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I was mad than the motherfucker. Because I didn't expect her to. Like, that's all. So that was my fault, having false expectations. But yeah, I still love her, though. Yeah, and her kids love me, too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they'll listen to me. They just want to get on the phone with MJ. We just talk shit, laugh, and all that. But they say, who kids I'm helping? Yeah. 
Griff, tell them when it was them kids' birthdays and all that. Who show up and show out? Nigga, how old you is? 14? I'm finna send you $140. Nigga, happy birthday. But they say, what he doing? Who you used to call BFF? Who you used to call? You used to call crying about them boys, right? And who'll get on the phone and make it right, BFF? I'm just saying, not their daddies. Well, you know, yeah, your yeah, daddies ain't there. I know it hurts your feeling too, baby. You know you disappointed me. Yeah, you know you did. Ain't nothing. See, that's how we supposed to be able to talk about it. Yeah, we ain't go bash each other or nothing. See, that's what real best friends do. We ain't go. You, we, me and we, we ain't go bash each other. Oh, that bitch did this or that nigga did this. No, we ain't go bash each other. See, that's what real friends do. We ain't go bash each other. Yeah, y'all didn't even know we had issues. See, we didn't go bash each other. We didn't go talk about each other. We knew what happened, and we just, okay. Yeah, I miss my friend. Me and my friends talk every day. Yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm getting my BFL back. Yeah, yeah I'm getting my BFL back. Nah, nah. Yeah, nigga, nah, 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 nah. I got my BFL back. Yeah, you niggas ain't got. See, see, them street niggas don't know how to be friends with a woman without fucking grip. Yeah, they always want to fuck on a nigga. Yeah, we don't got to fuck on each other to be best friends. Yeah, we don't got to sleep, touch, none of that. That's how you, man, let me shut up. Inbox with your number, BFF, I'm finna call you. Yeah, we finna cry. We finna cry and we finna do some healing. Healing. Healing stand for help elevate in love. Yeah, we finna do some healing. Yeah, right now. Yeah. So call me. Put your number in my phone, baby. 